Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, today we're looking at some ways that we can um, correct forward head posture or try to slowly progress it back to um, optimal alignment. So we always want to try to have our head and our ribs and our pelvis in a really good relationship to each other, <laughs> no matter what shape we're in. Um, but because of a lot of our modern day habits, devices, you guys know the story, um, most of us, if not all of us, have a little bit of that forward head posture, which um, over time puts a lot of strain on our lower back and our bony and our soft tissue pelvis. So it's really, really worth us spending some time to um, try to have some strategies and some tools to try to bring our head and our neck again in better relationship to our ribs and our pelvis. So um, I call this one Mama Kitty Cat. And you're gonna take your hand on the, the back of your neck. So if somebody has, like I'll over exaggerate it, somebody has forward head posture, then my left hand that's on the back of my neck is gonna be the Mama Kitty Cat. So I'm gonna take my neck back and I'm gonna bring the, the skin on the back of my neck up towards the ceiling. So essentially, I've gone, I've gone to the other end of the spectrum, which is I'm, I'm flexing. I'm kind of over flexing my cervical spine. But I want to keep that same energy of my mama kitty cat hand, and then I'm going to counter it with my opposite right heel of the hand on my forehead. Right, so I'm lifting up the back of my neck, and then with the heel of my hand here in the front, I'm gonna press into my forehead and just lightly drag the skin of my forehead up, right? And I'm also using lots of energy and effort in this front hand. So both my back hand and my front hand are efforting in the direction that I've already told you, right? So this back hand is going back and up, and this front hand is going in and up. And what that's kind of creating is the um, just right amount of cervical curve, right? It's bringing my head back, but it's not over flexing, right? This front hand is helping to add that just right cervical extension. And then, you know, over time, I can kind of notice where my head and neck are in space, take my arms away, imagine that I still have those two hands countering each other. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.